welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can turn your layer 2 switch into a DHCP server. The switch I'm going to use in this video is a Cisco Catalyst 2950 series switch. DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. Before I begin, let me just mention that I know of a few <laughs> IT professionals that say there's no way a layer 2 switch could ever be a DHCP server. Well, if you're watching this video, I'd like to tell you that that's the biggest lie since I told my sister I liked her cooking last week. Oops, I talk too much. Um, but it's good to know that a layer 2 switch can be a DHCP server if you wanted it to be. Now, in some environments or in some cases, you might not want a switch to be your DHCP server. And for the clear apparent reason, that you have no <laughs> no significant broadcast control because a switch or the switch I'm using a 2950 switch is a layer 2 switch layer 2 switches do nothing as far as broadcast control so having a service like DHCP that relies on broadcast from clients might do more harm than good in some environments depending on your network setup so let me mention again DHCP server on switches is not for everyone <laughs> okay so let's begin I have a diagram here illustrating what I have in front of me I have the switch that has an IP address of 192.168.1.10 and a class C subnet mask I have the PC that has an IP address of 192.168.1.11 and also a class C subnet mask this PC is the actual machine I'm using to show this um, instructional video so that's the diagram and it's good to know that an IP address could never be configured on an individual switch port. An IP address is only configured on what we call a management VLAN. So this cable that's connected to this port is a part of the VLAN that this IP address is configured for. So this IP address is not configured on this port, this IP address is configured on the entire switch's VLAN. So let's get started. I'm going to turn that to my switch. And now that I'm inside my switch, I can now configure DHCP. Before I do that, let me show you how to configure an IP address on a switch's management VLAN. Go into the VLAN that you want to manage or that you want to configure the IP address. In my case, it's VLAN 2. And type in IP address and then the IP address you want. And that's it plain and simple. To configure DHCP, you use a command service DHCP. Basically tells your switch to start the DHCP service. You're going to be a DHCP server. Now you need to tell your DHCP server um, the range of addresses you want to, dis to distribute and the kind of settings and configuration that you want clients to get from it. So to do that, I define what is known as a DHCP pool. So I use the command IP DHCP pool and whatever I want the pool to be so I'll just use this name Netscope your pool could be any name you want I'll just use Netscope for this demonstration and I'm going to tell the DHCP server to distribute IP addresses in this network so the entire 192.168.1 network the DHCP server will start to distribute IP addresses so from 192.168.1.1 straight to 192.168.1.254 the entire network scope I could also tell my DHCP server to give out DNS, ser DNS server settings to clients on the network so by putting in the command DNS server and the IP address clients will automatically receive IP address settings for their DNS server I could also tell it to distribute default gateway settings so clients could automatically receive default gateway settings for, um, for the network. And something interesting that you can also configure is a domain name. So you could tell your switch to give clients a specific domain name. So if you're inside a domain like an Active Directory domain and the domain name is domain.com, you could basically automatically associate a computer's network card with a DNS specific suffix and tell this computer to look out for this domain name and basically the computer is automatically associated with the domain and that's basically all we need to configure DHCP you can also configure um, excluded range 
Let's take for instance I had computers from a service from 192.168.1.1 straight up to my switch which is 192.168.1.10. I don't want this DHCP server to give clients this IP address because it will cause a conflict on the network. So I'm going to tell my DHCP server to exclude certain ranges. So I type in IP DHCP excluded and the range of exclusion from 1.1 to 1.10 and that's it save my configuration and you have now successfully configured DHCP on a layer 2 switch let's see if this is any good so I uh, go into my command prompt type in IP config and just to prove to you I have my manual configurations in so it says DHCP enable no and I have a static or manual IP address inside my connection I'm going to change this and I'm going to tell my network card to automatically obtain an IP address from a DHCP server load on the network so I tell it to automatically obtain automatically obtain click OK and I should automatically lose my connection to the switch if I go back into command prompt type in ipconfig I'll see I now have my um, connection specific DNS domain name that we configured on the switch I have an IP address that, that was leased to me by the um, switch which is a DHCP server now and the default gateway that was leased to me if I do ipconfig slash all I can prove now that my DHCP server is in fact 192.168.1.10 which is my Cisco switch. I hope this video has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for